just in your own time. A few gentle breaths. That's it, Colin. And minutes later, a result. Rapid diagnosis for a lung condition that up to two million people in the UK don't even know they have, using the power of AI to analyse the breath. Until now, confirmation of chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, or COPD, has required a spirometry test involving forced exhalation. It can take half an hour or more, and that's once you get an appointment. Diagnosing Colin was far from easy. The test is exhausting. Each, each one has a gap of five, ten minutes between them to let you relax again. I think it would make a lot of difference because it took me a year to convince them that there was something seriously wrong. Whereas with that machine, it would take them five minutes. Now, after ten years of development, N-Tidal Diagnose is ready to be used in the NHS and these medical students are being shown how it works. In total, we've collected over two and a half million patient breaths from every cardiorespiratory condition that you can think of. And then we've trained a machine learning model. We've taught it to discriminate COPD from everything else that can look like COPD. 1.2 million people in the UK have been diagnosed with the condition. COPD causes breathlessness, persistent coughing and clogged up airways. It isn't curable, but it is treatable. And the sooner that treatment starts, the better it is in the long term for the patient. And this little device is going to speed the whole process up. COPD is the second most common cause of emergency hospital admissions, with flare-ups accounting for one in eight people being admitted. But a third won't have been diagnosed before that. And one in four patients with COPD said they waited five or more years for confirmation. How much difference is this going to make? The day they come in thinking they may have COPD, I can run a test for them and get an accurate indication of whether or not they do have the condition. With that diagnosis, I can initiate treatment. They don't have to wait. They don't get put on the wrong drugs. It's, it's revolutionary. The goal is simple, transform diagnosis and improve patients' lives, in turn cutting costs for a cash-strapped NHS. Emma Birchley, Sky News, Suffolk.